Hey guys, welcome back to another latent, or I think it's Professor Latent and the Curious Village in HD. Don't forget the HD. <laughs> All right, so now we're back inside the town after we solved the drawbridge puzzle. So now we're inside and uh, let's investigate the city, right? So let's talk to this nice old grandma looking. She seemed very friendly, right? So let's talk to her. Oh, hello. Pleasure to meet you. Oh, her name is Ingrid. Well, hello, Grandma Ingrid. Welcome to St. Mysteer, where our local export is the puzzle. Oh, before I forget, you should know that every time you solve a puzzle, you earn a set of number of precarats. The more precarats a puzzle is worth, the tougher the puzzle will be. They say lovely things happen when you gather enough precarats. Imagine that! A reward for solving puzzles! For practice. Try this little riddle that you... Your hat reminded me of. Think good and hard before you answer. Dear. Okay. Let's find out, Grandma! Okay, so these four top hats are the same height. But the length of each brim is different. In other words, the hats are equally tall but vary in, wi in width. One of these four hats has a brim and a height that are the same length. Which hat is it? Okay, let's let's see. Um, a and B are almost the same. C and D are almost the same in the in the in the in the width, right? This, so the, I'm guessing the brim is like the the length of the width of the hat. So. Let me think here. So A is a little bit long from the measure of my fingers. A, the brim is a little bit longer than the B. And for C and D, the D is a little bit longer than C. Why would they put B as shorter than A? Shouldn't it be shortest to, to the highest? Okay, so let's, I'm moving my, I'm literally like moving my, um, my phone around. Okay, so D and B, it's not it for sure because D, it's the the brim is a lot longer than the height of the hat, and B is too short. And between C and A, C is a little bit too long, just a tiny bit. So I'm gonna go A. Hopefully that's the one. Is it? Is it? Correct, yeah! Oh, you know what? It feels so good to get it right. I get the music. That's right! This is a very famous optical illusion. An optical illusion is a visual phenomenon where your eyes perceive things differently than they actually are. There are dozens of known optical illusions. What's the world coming to when you can't even trust your eyes? Oh, bravo! I think you've got the hang of this. If you try your options one by one, you'll eventually find the answer. However, you will also encounter lots of puzzles that can't be solved by simply trying all the answers. If you answer incorrectly, the precarious you earn from a puzzle decrease. Tough stuff, hmm? It goes to show you how important it is to think for yourself and find the answers on your own. Well then, best of luck to you. I'll be rooting for you too. Thanks, Grandma. Smell you later. Okay, so let's let's talk to this guy who's laughing with the weird hat and a mustache. Ha ha ha! What a dandy set of fellows you two are. Must be new to Saint Mister, eh? The name's Dutchin Scarfin. And we got some advice for you. Go tap the barrel back there. Go on. Don't ask questions. Just do it. Why? 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 Why should I do that? And what? Is that it? Oh no, no, that's not it. Oh, it felt good, didn't it? Around these parts, that's what we call a hint coin. When you find yourself up against the doozy of a puzzle, you want a hint. Trust me on this one, fellas. And it's just those times when you want to use a hint coin and to purchase a hint. I bet you think puzzles will be a breeze now, eh? Think again. There are a limited number of hints coined in this world. 
So don't go wasting coins on any old riddles. Because if you do, and you come across a real stumper, you'll be sorry. Real sorry. Mind you, hint coins will always be stuffed inside barrels. Check any objects that seem suspicious. Alright, thank you, Mr. Statchin Scarf. I got something special now for you. What is it? A puzzle? More Statchin Scarf wisdom to share, is it? Investigate the sign on that building over there. Go on! Alright. Let's see, yeah, what's this? You found a puzzle solving charm. Huh. <laughs> That's a puzzle solving charm you just found. Come on. We all know you were expecting something original from this remake. Oh, that's right. This game is a remake of the old DS system. So they added a few things. Uh, okay. Gives a new version a certain charm, don't you think? Now, you probably think these charms sounds like fun, aren't you? But take care. <laughs> you were expecting me to say something like that, weren't you? Don't worry. I'm just pulling your leg this time. Charms are safe. Hmm. How do you use charms? Well, now. That would be telling. They do have use, believe you me. But it's up to you to find out. So, until we meet again. What? Bro, you just left me without a reason of what the charms are. Hopefully I'll see him again, right? So let's investigate before we go further, right? Because it seems like everything is hidden in this part of town. So let's just click some windows. How about this chimney? The windows. All these windows are saying the same thing. I wonder if that inn gets many guests. So, get that. How about this barrel? Ooh, I got another hint coin. Nice. Any. How about this door? This doesn't look like it's going to open anytime soon. Okay, how about this one right here? Ooh, I got another coin. See, it pays to help to just. Look around. Okay. I think we got everything. We clicked on this chimney. It's, uh, it's all good. So let's go further in. And investigate the city. Ooh, looks really nice. It, it, it's like a circle of houses. I've been thinking, Professor. Shouldn't we be keeping a record of our investigation? You, you brought up a very good point, Luke. Let me explain how to go about saving your game. Well, I already know how to save my game. I think I do, right? I mean, I learned this like in the beginning. So this is the save. You go into the, the briefcase. This is your journal. When you read about old notes, puzzle index, you open that up and you find all your puzzles that you solved and the one that's not with a happy face, that's the one that you haven't solved, but you gotta go, but you gotta go back to the same place to solve it. So that's a bummer. All right, so we're good with that. So. Uh, don't worry, don't be afraid to use the items in the trunk to help our investigation. It'll be a second nature soon enough. Enough explanation for now. Let's make our way to Reinhold Manor. An arrow makes our path on the map. An arrow marks our path on the map. So all we need to do is head to the correct direction. Lead the way, Professor! Alright, so we're going inside. Going east. Alright, so we're in chapter 1. Reinhold Manor awaits. Make your way to Reinhold Manor on the east side of town. Alright. Let's save it. Just in case if something horrible were to happen. Okay. Alright, so, um, let's see. Hmm. Let's check out this guy, this dude. What, what, what is he doing? Look at his watch. His name is Percy. Oh, hello. I'm Percy, St. Mister's unofficial writer in resident. Reinhold Manor, you, you ask? Head up to that road to the right. It's immense. So you know it when you see it. But before you go, why not try your hand at this puzzle I thought of? See if you can figure it out which house is mine from the instructions I give you. I'll even sweeten the deal for you. If you manage to solve this puzzle, I'll tell you about this village. 
So how about it, huh? You will try, won't you? After all, a writer is nothing without an audience. I guess we have to. Ooh, it's a 20. Huh, it might be a little bit harder than I thought. Okay, you can, can you find my house? Go out the front door of my place and turn left. At the first intersection you come across, take a right. Turn right again at the following interact, intersection and you'll come face to face with the morning sun. Circle my house. So the morning sun. So the sun, the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. So basically we need to go in a direction where we're facing the sun at the end, right? Okay. Let's see. So if we go here, we could go out of the front door, turn left. At the first initiation across, take a right, turn right again. At the following intersection, Double check this one. How about this one? Cross, turn left. At the first intersection, you come across, take a right. Turn right again. No, that, that's when we're heading south. How about this one? Go out, turn left. First intersection, make a right. Make a right again, still south. This one, maybe. This is probably it then. So, come out of the, at the first intersection, my place, and turn left. First intersection, turn right. From at the first intersection, you come across, take a right. right. How about this one? Go out and turn left. At the first intersection, you come across, make a right. Then turn right again. What? They're both the same? It can't be. Down. My place. And turn left. Make a right. Make a right. So then we're facing east. Oh, that's right. No, 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 no. For this one, we're looking at a different direction. So to turn left is actually this way, right? Because we're we're heading outside. Literally, we're 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 putting ourselves in the in the shoes of that person going outside the door, and then make a right. I'm sorry. So let's try it again. Make a left at the first intersection. You come make a right. Turn right again. So we're heading west, so that's not it. Okay, let's try this one. Go out, turn left, turn right and right. I'm guessing it's this one. Submit. Hopefully we get it right. Oh, thank goodness. That was a hard one, actually. To me, it was. Oh, you know what? It was actually easier if we go backwards. That's right. This is a problem when working backward. This is there. This is a problem where working backward gets the job done faster. It takes far too long to check out each house individually. Well, should have known that better. Impressive. I thought I set it out quite the puzzle, but you made sure to work of it. Now for that gossip, I promise you. The Reinhold family owns all the land this village is built upon. I hear they own all the buildings too. I guess you could say this town sort of belonged to the Reinholds. Well, I'll be on my way by now. I'll be uh, I'll be on my way by uh, my way now. But rest assured that the next time we meet, I'll have a harder puzzle for you. Well, hopefully I can remember your voice. I'm gonna done. I'm gonna be doing so many voices because all these people. 
Well, guys, uh, you know what? I just, I think, I think we're good with all the puzzles right now for this video. Thank you for watching my videos. Uh, don't forget to leave a like, comment, or subscribe, or say something. Perhaps you like this, uh, this, um, this game. Don't forget to leave a comment saying you want to see more of this. Okay, so I'll see you guys next time.